Willkommen zurück, Freunde. Herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Cat Lady. Ich muss den kleinen Cut machen. Ich habe hier ewig jetzt rumprobiert. Ich komme einfach nicht auf die Lösung. Freunde, schaut euch mal die Wand da an. Link, äh, rechte Hand, rechte Hand, linke Hand, rechte Hand, linke Hand. Rechts, rechts, links, rechts, rechts. Rechts, rechts, links, rechts, rechts. Macht das Sinn? Rechts, stimmt das? Moment, so sind die Daumen, ne? Das ist die normale Haltung. Rechts, rechts, links, rechts, rechts. Okay. Rechts. Rechts. Links. Rechts. No. 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 No! This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power leak, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind. Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! Kill me if you want, but I won't do that. You're with her? I should have guessed. I can't trust you. You're better off dead. Er ist keiner der Parasiten, Freunde. Oder vielleicht doch? Are you alright, Mrs. A? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh my god. I... Something strange happened. Uh -huh. Maybe I am mad after all. Don't be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. Time drags when you've got nothing to do, I guess. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on its hard drive, shall we? Well... Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. So, did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great. Now don't tell me, was it... Carrot? <laughs> yes. A carrot? That's amazing. How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A, or else it wouldn't be a magic trick anymore. Yay, it works every time. <laughs> okay, okay, don't get too big-headed now. Sure, but... I am the greatest! <laughs> Look, I only said it was carrot to be nice. In fact, I thought about celery. I wasn't going to say, but you leave me no choice. Yeah, right. Yes. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. Mm -mm. He is not a nice guy. Mm -mm. Hab hier ein bisschen Lichtschwierigkeiten, Freunde. Ich weiß nicht, ob es jetzt zu hell ist. 
Ich lasse es jetzt mal so. Okay. Boah, Freunde, war das ein krasser Traum, ne? Oder was auch immer das war. Aber da er Susan nicht erschossen hat, hat er Tobak dieses Wesen sich tot gehungert. Wohin? Ich würde gern zu diesem widerlichen Glatzkopf. Nicht absch nichts abschrauben. Wie seltsam. Ich habe ihn immer noch, obwohl ich ihn in einem in einer Art Traum bekommen habe. Ja, das ist wirklich seltsam, Susan. Aber wir kommen nicht zu diesem Typen rein. Die können wir auch nicht aufziehen. Die Maske. Mit sie kann wieder nicht knacken, oder? Hm. Susan möchte nicht mit ihm reden, aber sie möchte ihn heimzahlen. Das wird schwierig. Tja. Wohnung. Vier? Nee, sechs und sieben. Vier ist ja unsere. Lasst uns mal nach unten gehen. Ich glaube, wir haben da was vergessen. Keller. Verlängerungskabel. Nice. Die Wasserversorgung für das ganze Gebäude kann hier ausgestellt werden. Hm. Kohlenrutsche. Wurde seit vielen Jahren nicht mehr genutzt. Alle Wohnungen haben mittlerweile Zentralheizung. Ich kann, die kann... Das kann ich nicht von Hand öffnen. Vielleicht... Mit einer Kurbel. Mit einem Fahrradpedal. Hier habe ich Angst, was da jetzt drin ist. Hm, nur Kohlen. Voller Kohlen. Dreckig. Farbdose. Rot, die Farbe von Blut. Der Deckel klemmt. Getrocknete Farbe hält ihn fest wie Kleber. Wir brauchen Werkzeug, um es zu öffnen. Um sie auszubrechen. Ich werde die Dose nehmen, sobald ich sie geöffnet habe. So nützt sie mir nichts. Ja, dann öffne sie halt mit dem Schraubenzieher. Das kann ich einfach mit dem Schraubendreher aufbrechen. Fertig, jetzt kann ich die Dose mitnehmen. Quiet Haven Hotel. Ein ruhiger Hafen. Verlängerungskabel und rote Farbe. Quiet Haven Hotel. Nie davon gehört. Warum ist dieses Schild hier? Hm. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from Flat Six, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. Ooh. You ever heard the legend of the cat widow? The cat widow? No, I can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. <laughs> you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. 
and it will give us a chance to check his computer, if he's got one. Okay, so what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Rotifara. Red paint. We've got it already. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. This mask I took from Jessie's flat will do the job nicely. <laughs> okay. Dann also die Katzenwitwe. Solche Puppen waren auch in der Wohnung von diesem durchgeknallten Wand. Seltsam, diese Wand sieht neu aus. Was ist da dahinter, Freunde? Hat der oh, der hat aber nicht seine Frau eingemauert oder sowas. Benutzen? Ha! Schwarz ist meine Farbe, es gefällt mir so viel besser. <lacht> So, jetzt können wir es wieder hinhängen, oder? Das ist ja schwarz, genau. Okay. Wow, sieht echt gut aus in schwarz. Ne? We need to make some adjustments. Ich bin gespannt. Now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? Ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. We You've struggled dann. to get a skeleton into it. We know who this gift belongs to. This is hat. it. We've got all we need. Ivy's Great. Are you going to tell me about the cat widow now? Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. Sound. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But trapped in a strong canvas bag they never had a chance they all died that day all but one the mother cat in a desperate fight to set herself free by pure luck clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore she stayed on the bank of the river for a while the world stopped turning for her her eyes empty and blind her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs, and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger, rage even, her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge, for blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed, a cat widow. 
veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat. And her face, white, rotten, face of a corpse, those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers, but there was someone she had to see first, someone special, someone she really hated the most. As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat. As he lived alone, he usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad, because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. Nobody there. He almost felt disappointed. But before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. On a nearby wall, there was a giant shadow of a cat. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. Someone wrote Cat Killer on his door. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong. And that something had entered his home now too. He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. <laughs> Cat Widow is here, was written all over the wall. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him?
His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo of a black cat set as screensaver. He remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper. More like a her. She was there, in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. She came closer, like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him. His knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then, he fainted. <laughs> Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. <laughs> yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will. Once he's had time to think about what happened. Mm -hmm. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. Let's cross him off the list. <laughs>